Are you down for a threesome? This is a question for everybody. Would yours be with a dude or a woman? Probably a woman, what honestly. Would you but do? also no. Who's I'm gonna the... be honest with you, I'm so sheltered. I don't logistically know how this would ever work. <laughs> when you guys met on Tinder, it probably wasn't the hookup app. No, it was. <laughs> oh, it was. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you were just trying to hook up. Yeah. You got. Yeah. Uh... <laughs> Have you ever felt not in the mood but did it anyways? How many times a week is guys stuff actually attractive to the girl? Um, <laughs> it depends. <laughs> this episode does include the discussion of adult topics, so if you're with your children, consider waiting to listen till they're not in the room. What's, what's up, up dudes? dudes? John, you really oh, is it did. What's up, guys? Alex and John, welcome hey. to the Unplanned Podcast. Hello. They are Proud amazing. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Alex and John are social media sensations. They wow. grew you guys tremendously. Are hilarious. They're hilarious. Gosh, guys. They make Stop. couples content, which I, I wouldn't even know if I the right word is couples content. It's really these really funny like skits and high bits. quality, high quality entertainment. You guys gotta check out their videos if you haven't um, hey, seen their stuff. Guys, um, I'm sure you guys have seen them all over your for, for you page. But we're excited because not only are we going to dig into just a little bit of their story, but we're also going to play a, a little game with them. We're going we're gonna to do some juicy questions. Oh, gosh. Ooh. Prepare and we're yourselves. gonna do with someone, I was like, it has to be Alex We're going to try to keep yeah. it PG as much as we can for you. That'll be hard for us. <laughs> if you do know our content, <laughs> you know it's a little bit out there, but it's fine. We'll do our best. Hey, Thank you guys, you guys again for having me. Hey, we want you guys to be yourself. Yeah. Yeah. We will bleep you. I mean, yeah. <laughs> you are shooting this podcast in our house, so. We are in your our house. Exactly, house. your house, yeah. your rules. Yeah. yeah. Oh, wait, our rental. Wait, well, yeah. we're going to have you guys, when our house is done being renovated, in our new studio <gasps> space, and you guys can join our podcast. Yay. Yeah. Yes, and your and we'll podcast is Give It To Me Straight, yes. correct? Right. Yeah, okay. where we give everyone not great advice, but, you <laughs> we know, do the best we, we do our best. <laughs> I yeah. love that. I love so that. We say our mediocre advice. <laughs> yeah, so they also have a podcast. You guys can find them, I'm sure, wherever you find your podcast. And, and while you're following their podcast, make sure you're following ours. Make sure you're subbing, hitting the like button, leaving a review, um, all those good things. We would really appreciate that. And uh, I'm sweating right now. You're sweating? I think John's making me nervous. I've been, I've been sweating this whole time. I got it down to 69. That's why I'm wearing black because Ooh. I sweat. <laughs> it is. I mean, the sun is beaming through right now. It's so. also these lights. Guys, we're in LA right now. This is crazy. Yeah. I feel like all official that we're in LA. This is crazy. And, and you just, have good weather. I'm just glad been, the sun is out. The yeah. weather, we've lived in all parts of the country, New York, Virginia, North Carolina, casual. <laughs> and, yeah. uh, the weather has been the worst here out of everywhere that we've lived. Mm -hmm. No way. In yeah. LA? Since yeah. we've been here, yeah. You're kidding. Rainy, cloudy, cold. Mudslides. Today is the nicest day I think that we've had in a Jeez. really long time. We brought the sun from Phoenix with yes. us. Yes, yeah. thank you. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Thank you. We needed it. Something you guys were just telling us before we started the podcast is you met on Tinder. Yeah, that is we that's did. so unique. I want to I want to hear more about that. I think it's so funny that you say unique because I feel like most people these days like meet on an app. Yeah, like you're Bumble, right. Hinge, but yeah, totally. we're Tinder but when, when though. When we got the on it, it was. No, <laughs> yeah. that, that's what's funny is because like Tinder is the hookup. Oh app. yeah, like Tinder's the lowest of the low. But, but like I'm sure when you guys met on Tinder, it probably wasn't the hookup app. No, it was. Oh, it was. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I was just trying to yeah. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> no. no no i i no. alex was i was John looking for something no we we met so like we matched on tinder we met at the raleigh beer garden <laughs> <laughs> we grabbed beers i ordered some pizza and like i knew we got along so great but like we i just think like i don't know it wasn't it the timing wasn't right for us to to be Exclusive. The with timing one wasn't another. right for Alex. <laughs> the timing was right for me. Wait, why was the timing not right for Alex? I just like, Wait, I was, when was this? This was okay. We met in 2016. Okay. I was out of a long term relationship. Oh. I just wanted to be single, but I like to go on dates and like meet people and have them buy my beers, you know, yeah. sue me. And so when I met John, <laughs> I was like, oh my gosh, he's so nice. But like, I don't want to date him. Um, a few weeks later, after our first date, he was like, we need to hang out again. And I was like, sure. We go on date number two, which is a paint night. So like wine and design, you know? That's so, did you set that up? Of course. Yeah. Romantic. It was cute. So we get it to the end of our- definitely backfired on me though. <laughs> we get to the end of our date and he goes, sign my last name on there so that when we get married, we can hang these paintings in our house I was together. joking. Oh. And there I some go, big moves. She red threw, flag. threw it right in the trash can. I go, can. this is a red flag. I was like, he's so obsessed with me already. I yeeted those in the trash can. <laughs> you threw them away. <laughs> threw them out. In yeah. front of me. In front of you. No, oh, you yeah. didn't. You weren't there. <laughs> he was not there. But anyway, 
Long story short, John cried like himself to sleep that night. Hold your hands right, right when <laughs> Alex like red flags and and Matt's like, it's look at us. It's because we're the perfect we're couple. Winning. We're the perfect couple, and we never fight, <laughs> yeah. and we definitely didn't meet on Tinder either. <laughs> Matt and Abby are like, we're the winning. We're winning right now. <laughs> It's all about winning and losing. <laughs> and sweating. It's actually really oh, sweaty. Sweating. Yeah, it's like, can we not hold hands right <laughs> Please now? Please don't touch me, John. Like, even your leg is giving me too much heat. You know why we're all sweating? It's because Matt took three hours to set up this podcast. So it's just him moving around all the friction. It's just so hot in here. All right. Anyway, long story short, we do this back and forth. <laughs> I'm just like, waiting for you to spew your LaCroix. Just so everyone knows, the even him doing his sound check, the audio wasn't even that bad. It was a light, like a light buzz. John, but a this light is buzz. why. And he's just like, I can't have it. I can't have it in here. I can't have it in the this podcast. This is what sets oh my the gosh. podcast apart because it's oh. perfection. You guys, I'm like, I'm sweating so hard. I'm laughing so hard. This is great. Okay. Well, I guess that's oh. why your podcast is as amazing it as it is. is. Yeah. Hey, I so appreciate that, you guys. Yeah, I no, figured I just had to say like it. something nice after saying something. <laughs> You're supposed to give five uh, compliments, compliments to one for every critique. Oh. Yeah. Alice is training me like say if you're gonna be sour, be sweet afterwards. It, no, it's a sandwich. Like you have to give a compliment Poop sandwich, and then yeah, your critique, and then yes. another compliment. Yeah. yeah. But That's we right. have no critiques. Well, John might have a few, but <laughs> I mean, your setup's way better than ours. I'll give you that. <laughs> and this is like, but it we, should be for five hours. We've been living in this setup. house, and like, we didn't even know that this was a possibility. This, this looks great. No, th I like want to move into your house right now. <laughs> yeah. Like, your house is so beautiful. You have a beautiful view of the Thank valley. You. Is that the valley? Yeah. And they welcomed us with like croissants and muffins <laughs> when we walked in this morning. So this was just Abby so didn't nice. Eat, Abby didn't is that not the standard? Do people not greet you with croissants? What, guys? I was like, Abby's gonna be hungry. <laughs> yeah. And Matt was hungry. Matt was hungry. <laughs> I actually ate already, but I had to eat more because the food was so good. Yeah. Can we? I want to know how they got married. Yeah. Oh, right. Okay. All right. How did you go from like Tinder hookups to, yeah. ma to yeah. marriage? So, so it, was right. like, it was a long, like, so it was like period of time. Six months ish of like from our first date to when we mm. were like, okay, this is Exclusive. it. And it really went because I wanted to have my cake and eat it too. Like, I liked hanging out with John, but I also yeah. liked the freedom of just being a single girly twirly yeah. in the city of Raleigh, just, you know, meeting people. And then John, he was like, it wasn't until one day we both were separately at a bar. We like meet eyes across. I'm like, oh, John, hey. And he goes, just waves at me with no expression and turns around and walks away. And I'm like, oh, I am his queen. How dare Alex, he ignore you're with me? Two other dudes. I was with, the with bar. my sister. Of course, I'm like, do oh, yeah. My, I was waiting for my sister. <laughs> what, you, what am I supposed to do? She, they were like her work friends. And so I was like, oh my gosh. And so I, that's when I realized. And I was like, I am not willing to risk losing John in my life. Like, Aww. I do have that's to That's not to where him. she realized. I win in the end. I was hanging out with some other girl. Oh. She saw me at the bar with her and was like, oh, you're going to move on from me? I this don't This was a separate so. night? No, this was the same thing. The John's same just making night. it confusing. Yeah, that's but, hilarious. Because you're that, not gonna add in the part that, that like you were in a whole group of people. I didn't know that you were like individually she was. seeing one she of knew. them. She knew. Anyway, so, so yeah, you it, got and, jealous. You both got jealous. Yeah, it, it, it was like a game of cat and mouse. And sure, John it's won the most in toxic the end. Way of, you know, oh my gosh, yeah, no, together. not healthy. Do not recommend <laughs> the way that we it's met. All game, or, you know? Yeah, yeah. And here we are, happily ever after. <laughs> Six a beautiful years love later. story, guys. Know, right? Yeah, it's very beautiful. And then we got engaged in Hawaii. Um, That's so I cool. knew that. Yeah. That's mm -hmm. so cool. Which island? Kauai. Kauai. Oh, mm -hmm. okay. That's like the one island we have not been to. You haven't? I want to go so bad. Oh my gosh. It's so, so chill. chill. You guys would love it there. I really want to go backpacking there because yeah. I've never been backpacking and I've heard there's a, a really neat like 20 mile trail. Nepali that coast. you can Yeah, the Nepali yeah. coast. 20 miles. It's gorgeous. Yeah. No, the one that we did that we got engaged you on. You to go to Hawaii to go on a hike for 20 yes. miles. <laughs> to be out in nature, it's beautiful. Nature is neat. Nature. <laughs> Nature. <laughs> we should go on a hiking trip together. Yeah, seriously. Yeah. John would love it. But the one that we did that we got engaged on was like a six mile trail, but it was it was rough. I didn't it was, know oh, it was also that long. So muddy. But oh, shoot. we've been back. We love Hawaii a few times. So when I saw that you guys were living there, I was like, we have to meet them there. Oh, and then yeah. you're back here. Fact, so I got the coordinates on my arm. Oh no! Oh, way. Yeah, this is he, where you got engaged. Yeah, mm -hmm. so John oh, like sick. tattooed um, the hibiscus and then the coordinates and like the mountain range of like where we got engaged. Wow! Yeah, that's really really. Cool. I know. So now like we're really stuck together. Well, I guess yeah. he's stuck with the memory of me. I have no tats of John. Look at Alex have like a, a neck tattoo <laughs> of like our me 
John. The, the date of when we got me married. Me and John. Did you, guys, did you guys know that we have matching tattoos? You guys act? do? You guys didn't know that? No. Did you show them? Stop. Stop. Whoa. <laughs> what? Oh my God. I forget dude? that I have them, yeah. honestly. I haven't looked at that tattoo so, in a year or two. You know how we said, what's up, dude, oh, to start the episode? Uh. That's that's our brand. And so we got matching this was tattoos. A while that is commitment. To promote our first merch launch ever. I think ever. it was like Back three in, years ago. This was in 2020. We what? like made merch that said, dude, and got matching lip tattoos. <gasps> it was crazy. Does that it's fade? Yeah, yeah, over time. Yeah. Is it faded now? A little bit. Yeah, a little bit. I think bit. that's what it looked like initially, though. It's so fun, I can though, because like, people, people are like, no, you don't. And then yeah. like, we're like, you heck rebels. yeah, we do. Yeah. Yeah. We're our crazy. Parents, all, we we <laughs> uh, crazy. FaceTimed our family right after. None of them believed it. They all thought we were lying and like, it was some prank. It was like, no, we actually got live tattoos. It was honestly kind of hard and to get someone to do the tattoo it because it was literally 2020. Like, it was like COVID. Oh, oh yeah. In 2020, it's it's hard. Do you ever think of doing the ring tattoo? I've been I trying have. to get him to do that. They, I, I think, think he doesn't want to fade. commit enough. They also no, fade. I just, yeah, they fade, and I heard it really freaking hurts to get it. Mm. Yeah. What's with all the rings? Is that like your. I'll be honest with you. you I, got like the Sons of Anarchy thing. Yeah, dude. On. So, like, I got these sent to me. There's a, uh, a a guy that makes rings. His name's Tristan Ikaika. They're really um, cool rings. And he makes like really cool rings. My buddies had some, and then he sent me some, and I was like, oh, okay, sick. And I didn't really have like a strong like fashion statement I wanted to make or anything. It was just, oh, these are cool. Maybe I'll look a little bit more. He doesn't stylish. have a wedding ring either, so no, yeah, but you have the rubber. The, I have he's got the rubber. rubber. Yeah, right yeah. So I can keep my rubber. But he, he never had like a real wedding ring. Oh, oh I spent like four. I, it was four dollars. He bought his ring for four dollars. Like, oh, we didn't either. I think we ordered his off of Etsy because mm -hmm. our our jeweler messed our rings up initially. So like when we got married, they were wrong, and uh, we were like, whatever, we'll just like get them later. He so. overnighted it to us the day before. For our wedding and then we Whoa. opened up the boxes and i was like these are wrong like we both no. ordered yellow gold and did they you were freak white. out no because we were just like is that a like we're yeah. in the wet we were in the wedding industry at the time and we knew like mm. we we're like it's not a big deal right. yes yeah. i want to talk about that so yeah. Yeah. before you start doing social media full-time yeah you guys are videographers for weddings yes yeah. we are wedding mm. filmmakers because one of my friends that was like matt i saw that you're like this is like when, we were, when our tiktok they were trying to book off. you they, no way. they were like yeah they're like do you know this other couple they they're like a like wedding videographer yeah. I want them to do my wedding and I'm like oh I've like, seen I their stuff I think they're kind of busy I, I, I'm sure they're busy doing TikTok <laughs> well so. we didn't realize how like when we started TikTok we just thought that we would do it in parallel with being wedding filmmakers and oh, didn't yeah. realize that it would turn into a full time job yeah. and ultimately we couldn't do both we just retired this past year from weddings we wow. like to say like retired but wow. we were doing both like 2020 we had all of our weddings postponed into 2021 because of the pandemic that's when we jumped onto TikTok and then that's when our social media blew up. So then we had double the amount of weddings in 2021 that we Whoa. were filming. Yeah, it was crazy. On top of our all of our social channels blowing up. Wow. So it was just like, it felt like we were working. I mean, we were working seven days a week, but like quadruple the amount of time. Like we were Gosh. not in a good headspace. I started therapy. Like, I mean, it ended up being a really good thing for us because it aligned us. Like it made us closer. We, I think we're just pushed to our ultimate limit. Like but, we know <clears> what we can like achieve. And like what's our, exactly. Yeah. Yeah. Dang. So wait, you guys both filmed and both edited, but you got married in 2020. We got married in 2019, like four oh, months okay. before the so pandemic So did the business started. start right before you got married? So or? started, we met in Raleigh, North Carolina, and then John, I was working at that time for another wedding film company and John saw my work and he was like, you need to start your own. And I was like, I don't know, I need help. And he was like, train me how to use a camera and then we'll start it together. And so he was an occupational therapist. So we moved to New York. I start the wedding film company and we were shooting together on the weekends and I was editing during the week and he was an OT. So we were still working seven days a week, but mm -hmm. then we got married, then the pandemic happened, and that's when we jumped cool. in. So I was always the editor, and then so when we saw that TikTok was like a creative app, you know, video, video focused, I was like, this is the app for us. Like we could totally do it because mm -hmm. I was like, you know, I think that we have personalities, you know, that we could be in front of the camera and yes. then we can edit because we were always behind the camera, yeah. like as filmmakers. How is how has that been now to like start filmmaking on an app where rather than you know, this family at a wedding gets to see your work. Now you yeah. have millions of people that can see your work. I, I like it more because it's we're, we're filming what we want to film and not saying we yeah. want to film weddings, but it was a very time consuming. You know, we're, we're shooting 14 hour days and then to edit, if we're only working on one wedding, it'd be at least 50 hours yeah. of editing. Of it's editing. a lot. So it was it was definitely 
a the lot. beginning, though, I think it was um, a little bit of like an ego thing because mm. we had all the gear, we had yeah. we had the skill of like making these really high end cinematic wedding films, but that's not what what was going viral. What was going yeah. viral was what we were shooting on our iPhones. Right. You know, something so simple. And then when brands started reaching out, and we were like, we're making how much money from an from a 30 second TikTok versus a wedding film that like we're putting our heart and soul into it. Yeah. Like it just didn't. So we had to like look at it from a business perspective and be like, yeah. where do we need to invest our time at this point? And so we ultimately made the transition out of weddings. Yeah. But then I think too, the bigger that we were growing, we were getting recognized a lot at weddings and not that it was taking away from the couple, but it was a distraction. Oh, yeah. Like for us to even do our jobs, we were like, we can't give 100% of ourselves yeah. to our couples anymore. And so we had to make that decision. It was really, it was a bittersweet though. Like John was okay. He was like, TikTok is the world for us, like digital content creation. But for me, I was like, I had Well, let's such be honest. It's tough because when you start seeing the money coming in for social media, it's like, it kind of takes away a little bit. You're like, well, we could be shooting these weddings that are taking all of our time. Or we shoot right. this 30 second and we're doubling or tripling whatever we're making yeah. off of weddings. So mm -hmm. kind of like takes away the passion a little at least for me it did i'm like it's just be stupid not right. to go the route of social media but like weddings are such a personal business that mm. it was really tough for me i think to like walk away from creating these heirlooms for yeah. couples but i think ultimately like you just have to pick and choose where your time is best well spent mm. and we're having so much fun obviously doing this and it gives us a lot more freedom well and you're, you went from filming other people to filming yourself exactly yeah. and you guys are just so hilarious yeah. together i'm like <laughs> thank you i think it's so funny too because you i love that you guys like in the couple space on social media a lot of it is like super sweet it, it's, and it's like copy paste copy paste mm, I, yeah. yeah i like how your couple's you content is very different than any other couple's content out there we try i think that that's one thing when you are starting out is figuring yeah. out what you're good at and yeah. like what your audience also relates to and for us we were like okay what kind of like couple content are we like are we yeah. even a couple content like yeah. creators and we were like we can't do pranks like it just did I mean, not feel tried right it. it was all trial we've, we've tried error. it all yeah. and yeah. like we just like honed into what felt most natural to us yeah. and it's like showing because like we're skip based but like we show the real yeah. life things that happen and so like making it cinematic and like comedy like we don't say like we're couple creators we say we're comedy creators For like sure. we're in the co yes. like comedy space exact comedy i think that's a better way I've yeah been and you guys that. like talk about like fighting and yeah. like things that annoy you about yeah. each other and i think that's hilarious like we talk about like <clears throat> i think we talk about fights a lot <laughs> yeah we, want, I mean, we just want to be honest with people yeah. like i think people get sick of seeing like <clears throat> people show the all the good and and I think it's great. You want to keep things positive and fun. I think some but, people, some couples, genuinely are a lot sweeter. Than but us, fighting's though. not a bad thing either. Yeah. It's natural and it's healthy in a relationship. And yeah. people throwing up fake shit all the time. I'm like, this isn't <laughs> real relationship. And like, exactly. what I like about well, our content skip based though at the yeah. same time. So mm -hmm. that's why, like, for our podcast, it's like. We want you to see us, who we yeah. actually yeah. are. But what I like about yours is you're not trying to pretend that it's a real moment. Yes. It's very clear that it's a it's skit. It's a skit, exactly. Right. Okay. And that's like one thing that we knew that like we couldn't nail down. Like we've tried to do yeah. like a curated natural moment so that it seems like it's like, and I'm like, we can't do it. So it's easier for us to just script something out. Yeah. And it got to the act. point where we couldn't do that anymore either yeah. though, because it's like, at some point, you're gonna know there's a camera yes. somewhere. Even yeah. if you don't know where the camera is, it's yeah. like, it's gotta be somewhere. Yeah. Honestly, and so yeah. now I'm like, I, recently I wanted to do that to Matt for one beer. I was like, I literally can't even, I don't even know where to, what to do at this point. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That, now I could get you good though, because you would not be expecting it now. That's true. Yeah, we don't. Because <laughs> again, like you acknowledge that the camera is there. And that's, I think, yeah. the thing as content creators, it's like, we're not gonna pretend like we don't that like we don't know that the camera is right there like yeah. we're going out of our way to show that we're acknowledging it but yeah i think like for us because we came from a filmmaking background we knew that this is going to be like the yeah. most and like we wanted to lean into our skills like our skills yeah. were from the filmmaking side of it so like yeah. if we could marry the two but again like everyone has to find their own their own corner of like what works best for them. And I think your audience is gonna see that as well. Well, you guys are hilarious. Your comedy skits always make me laugh when they when they pop up on my FYP. I think I wanna get into some of these juicy questions that we have for, <laughs> for Alex and John because- I haven't seen them either. Oh, you haven't oh, even gosh. looked at them? No, I mean, I like briefly looked, but then I had, um, 
someone go in and so oh i would be gosh. surprised too yeah we had you guys submit juicy questions for us to answer together on the unplanned podcast instagram nervous. so uh thank you to everyone that oh, submitted gosh. a question what what do we got abby i don't know how should we just send it how much are we willing to let's just send literally it. we're open if bucks any, if, if we, you yeah, yeah we're open bucks what do we what is it what I is it be the one asking. I, okay I'll, I'll ask it I'll okay ask so it. these are the ones that people sent in and then we had another <clears throat> list too okay so all right. So oh my first gosh. one. I'm God. sweating more. Is <laughs> this is <laughs> is guys stuff actually attractive to the girl? Are you talking about my penis? <laughs> yes. I, guess I think we're talking about penises right now. I think this is a question for the ladies. I'm so confused. So what, basically, what are, do do wives think their husband's junk is attractive? <laughs> Oh, 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 oh. Um, um, it depends. It depends. You'll never see me wanting to look up anybody. Else. You know what it is, though? Um, it really depends because I'm going to get really vulnerable here. And, John, you feel free to tell me to shut up. Okay, so, like, just, sweating so much. Is, is John doing the helicopter? No. If John's bending over and I get a back view, because that's a whole different view. No. But like, <laughs> if it's like a curated it's shot, bad. like you, if you send a dick pic. It depends really on like the pose in which, and it also depends on my mood, right? Like, am I hungry? Like, no. Am, but like, if I'm, I got a surprise but for like, you. I feel like generally my libido is higher than John's is. So 100%. like, I'm usually like, I always think it's attractive, but it really depends on the pose. Like again, I, I hold the sometimes John will just like be, I don't know why you do this. Like you always somehow bend over like, yeah, when too? I'm coming into the room and I'm like, this is a view I never ever want to see. And I immediately dry up and turn around and could throw not, up. Yeah. Like, when they say junk, they're talking about my penis, I not know, my butthole. John, I, but like, I'm trying to be aware of where you're at in the room, and I'm trying to not face me. Dude, dude. when you oh. bend over, I see it all. It's like it's all. You, you ask like. Don't swing the door open so quick. So anyway, I actually. That's just that I'm perfect. I try to be aware of where I'm standing. Because I know you don't want to see inside my tarantula hole. <laughs> You're whispering, uh, yeah, you're right. Oh. I don't want to see right. inside there. So it, it really well, depends. So I'll do that as a joke. Like, Abby usually doesn't catch me, like, bending over on accident. But, like, if sometimes just, like, if I'm just naked, I get out of the shower, I might just, like, give, give Abby a little surprise. And then she's like, whoa, like, whoa. I just, just, did you ever see the movie funny. Waiting? No. You never saw Waiting with Waiting. Um, no, I Ryan haven't. Reynolds? Where oh, he's, yeah, like, a cool. waiter. And it's just, like, they're, like, a grungy restaurant or something. And they're all doing, like different poses with their they're like the bat wing and the goat and they're always okay. trying to get each other with I it i feel like we should move on okay, just, <laughs> it's that's, a cult classic watch it's a cult movie. classic we'll watch that on our next <laughs> yeah, uh, date yeah. night you definitely need to watch so, that yeah. Wait, i never date answered night. the question Wait, Abby, what, yeah what is your answer to that question i would say um i would never want to see another guys uh but i think which is yeah. okay it's shocking to me that you say that though because like not to be weird but i i would I rather think, look at a naked woman than a naked man for yeah a, a same yeah. same but like <laughs> i can agree with that yeah everyone says everyone, this, it's universal unanimously. yeah but it's it's interesting how like you as a straight woman saying that is like totally like i i wouldn't question that i don't right. know like, but, like, but if i get that you'd be like oh are you gay I think it's like, just because women are uh like no one's gonna disagree women's bodies are beautiful yeah 100 percent uh, 100%. But I know what you're saying where there's like a double standard. Like if it John was sure. like, I would rather look at a naked man. I'd Everyone be like, would be a little bit hmm. questioning. Yeah. Okay. Like, wow. John. We really, we're really sending it with well, these John, juicy I'm not questions. I'm trying to look at ant eaters all day. <laughs> <laughs> Their trunks just. I, this is so bad. I read okay. so much when I'm pregnant. <laughs> Anytime I walk in the locker room, I'm like this. might be your first explicit episode. Oh, my <laughs> oh no. <laughs> it's all good. Okay. Next one we got is, are you down for a threesome? Listen. This is a question for everybody. Who's for the third? Everyone. No. Who's, oh, who is see, the third? like, I think back in my college days, like when I wasn't in a committed, like married relationship, like it's something that I could have explored. But now that I'm married, I just, no, I think it's off the table for me now. Yeah. John's like, hmm. Oh, college days for sure. Now, no, I'm too tired. Oh my gosh. You guys had a <laughs> really tired. crazy college days compared to us. We were married in college. Oh, yeah, yeah, we were married throughout college. We've yeah. only been with each other. But it felt awesome because I was like, we're having sex and none of our friends are. Like, it was, it was great. What? No. 
I almost went, I went to Liberty. Missouri State. Yeah, oh, I, went, yeah. I almost went to we Liberty. Went to Missouri. Like nobody, nobody was married. Like we were like the only people. But you guys knew though. You know what I mean? Like, and it yeah. worked for you. Like you are the one. I don't know. Like we we actually have a few friends who are high school sweethearts, and I think oh, really? a lot of people are against it because they they know that it's not going to work. You know, because of like just like stereotypical rates. But again, like when you can come out of it, like that's even better. Oh, totally. Like, yeah. Teach his own. Whatever. I would That's never cool. have been down for a threesome at any point in my life. Yeah. I'm very monogamous. Yeah. That's yeah. my thing, I too. I like, tell Matt, I'm like, I'm not attracted to other guys. I'm literally I feel not. Like, I feel like people that end up swinging, like, it's like, oh, it's like making I it I like how fun. Abby just immediately assumed that threesome's with another dude. <laughs> like, just so you know, it's going to be oh, a woman. Oh, my gosh. I could not <laughs> even think about it. It was like, no. So you had, Abby, you had to pick one. It's a threesome. It's you, Matt. Is it with another dude or a woman? Another dude. Wait, what? John, don't put Abby on the spot. She said no threesomes regardless. Would yours be with a dude or a woman? I just, I probably a woman, what honestly. Would you but do? also no. A with me, could be no, with, I'm gonna be honest with you. I'm so sheltered. I don't logistically know how this would who's ever the work. Third, out. Who's the I'm third party people. member? So sorry to all of like your very like kind listeners. That's actually funny. I think I think all of us that if it if it were to happen, I think everyone would pick woman. I actually, think. yeah. Now that I think, I think yeah. about it, do you guys would be compete so compete with someone? <laughs> Am I doing as good? Is, he's Two doing it but also, so scared. i don't know i just feel like that would like then it would affect our relationship like yes. i would then be like yes. self-conscious self-conscious and like not happy like it it just would it's not worth i don't think it's not worth the issues that would follow exactly i have no right. idea how it logistically on, works no yeah why are we all in the same like chair this is the most the <laughs> I, dumbest i think it's fine it's, we like to be cozy. sorry i'm actually uncomfortable too right now i'll be are we uncomfortable honest. because Matt, of like physically hands. or the conversation sorry. about three <laughs> yeah yeah, John, like your no, leg. I, I I retract my answer for that because I li I literally do not know how that would even work. Yeah, I'm gonna say no. I think it would cause problems. Yeah, I think there's no way around of that. Of course, it would cause problems. Would you or have you had adult nap time while your baby slash kid was in the room? That, that, that's what for about you guys. what about your pet? Oh, yeah. Kobe. Uh, do you we, guys actually nap in general? Maybe that should be. Dude, the Abby doesn't like to take naps. Because then I stay up at night. It's frustrating. I'm yeah. like, Abby, just take a freaking nap. She'll be so exhausted. I'm like, if you just take an hour and a half nap, you'll feel way. You guys, have we don't seen nap. the videos. If I wake yeah. up from a nap, it's yeah. Oh, that's done. true. Yeah, Last yeah. time you took a nap, you woke up crying, and then every it, single time made, I take a nap, I wake up hungry and emotional that was actually our last youtube video and i also don't know what day it is <laughs> yeah you mean you're matt didn't have like confused. snacks next but I think, to you no you he didn't i think i think with adult nap time we're talking about sex yeah right? yeah yeah, so I'm, yeah I'm not say, just like adult sleeping while yeah, your baby no. slash kid was in the room code, or your pet code messages what, i think people are sending code messages we have to decipher yeah. the code oh. okay well i'm yeah. gonna assume yeah that it means sexy time um <laughs> well we don't have kids so we so yeah we could, we yeah, could yeah, adult nap whenever all day long see we've definitely done that and then i think what felt weird though is like you feel weird that your kid's in the room, but then you're also like, they can't even see anything. Yeah. Because they're in their, like, guarded, like, they're asleep or they're in their bassinet and they're, like, they, their long, eyes are shaded. That was a long time. in the room with this. Oh, yeah. This has been a long time. This has been a while. Yeah. He's been, when did Griffin start sleeping when in the room? When he was five months. I think, was, yeah, there's, like, an age limit, of course, yes. when you stop doing no, that. No, no, no. Now, I think heck anything no. really yeah. like, mm. heck now no. would be, oh my heck gosh. No. Yeah. He's much too old now. Just like, when, I've heard like, stories, though. But Just it, like when you stop like kissing your kid on the mouth at some point, you know? Yeah. <laughs> like, but it is weird. I do have the thoughts of like if we're if we're both like naked and we're like getting in and out of the shower and stuff and Griffin's singing. I still feel us, weird. He watches like, me shower. I'm like, is it weird that our eleven month old is seeing like this naked woman? But at the same time, he also still breastfeeds and he's mm. going and he, or actually I guess you just stopped like literally like two days ago. I just decided two days ago I was done. Yeah. Have but, you I guys mean, seen those TikToks where it's like, was your was your mom a naked mom or a not naked mom? It's like, did you grow up like seeing your mom like walk around naked, like didn't care? I did Oh, wear, I didn't. My mom would wear underwear around the house, but yeah. like I didn't think of anything. It didn't right. seem yeah. weird. Right, yeah. My mom too. She like didn't care. But like, I yeah. guess it got to a point where one day she just like stopped. Yeah. <laughs> I think the day my mom stopped was when like me and my brothers were like, mom, please put some clothes. <laughs> <laughs> like, when That's you, harsh. When you notice it. Yeah. She's probably like, well, they told me to. Maybe yeah. now's the time. I think but once was, he yeah. starts talking, there's no way I'd be okay with him seeing me naked mm. or change or anything Yeah. Like but I, I never... Even I, I didn't even see my dad naked that much. Yeah, I, I don't think I've ever seen my dad naked. No. I did all the time. You, you did? did? Oh yeah. <laughs> There's actually a TikTok. It's like when you're the guy has like a like a punching bag coming towards him. He's like dodging. He's like when you're taking showers with your dad when you were a kid. <laughs> 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 you're dodging it. Dude, me, me and my brother, we used to play we used to play shower hockey in the shower. Yeah, the so we'd shower together and we'd take we had these plastic hockey sticks and it was so much fun. We were like five and five and six, five it's and seven. Crazy. You remember like. 
that long yeah, ago. It was a blast. I was like, a, let's play shower hockey. <laughs> I remember taking a bath yeah. with my sister once and she pooped in the bath. Oh, God. <laughs> you don't forget that. that. Was fun. Yeah, no. But anyways. So the answer to our question, question is yes, but you guys never yes. answered about we the dog. We segued so far. Oh, yeah. Well, with Kobe, um, it depends also. Like, if uh, he's, We don't really have a choice. Like, Or he'll like mess up the flow because if we shut the door, he'll scratch the door. And it, like, right. Yeah, you know, we have to, I think like, he just wants to, to be near us. Yeah. Like he's not a dog though that like jumps on the bed. Like if he was interfering, then it would be a problem. But like he just wants to be close, so he'll lay down. No, like, I'll be yeah. honest. Babies have a have a sixth sense. They know when something's about to happen, and then they wake up and start crying. <laughs> Every single no, oh, time. It's so freaking frustrating, you guys. I swear, it's like, finally, we're about to do it. And then, ah! And I'm like, <laughs> on, on the second. Like, every time. I swear, That's crazy. every time. So he now when I put him it. down for a nap, I'm like, let's go do it right now. Right like, now? He's, he's asleep. <gasps> like, we can finally go. It makes it, it makes a little less kids, romantic. Right? Yeah, guys, you really are selling the kid. The I'm kid telling you. No, it, and it's it's hard. I think this for, this year. Well, I mean, you were able to have another baby. Yeah, so you found some true. time. But yeah. I would say like kid year has been the hardest year of our marriage for sure. It's just, it's challenging. Well, I, hear, it everything. I hear from, you know, the sources on TikTok to not even talk about the D word, divorce, during the years of, like, the first year of having it's a so kid. Hard. Because, like, your hormones, like, everything, it's just, you hate your spouse. And it's just, like, you're going through this whole huge change together. Yeah. That it's, yes. like, that can't even be an option on the table. Like, you just have to work through it and know that it's a phase. I mean. Yes. Mm -hmm. Did you have, like, issues with Matt? Like, were you guys... I don't know, because hormone wise, did it affect you with Matt? Your like relationship? With yeah, fighting? or no, no, no. Like, did you ever look at him and you're like, I hate you? I'll start <laughs> generally asking because we're like, because the, the conversation of having kids is constant, constant. with us now. Well, I think it too, didn't like, make me hate him, no. No, no. I think it made me, it really did make me love you I more. I think it depends on your partner, though. Like, if you have a partner well, who's helping you, like, I think when well, you. I don't know if like chemical imbalance or whatever. Here's, here's where it gets really hard is I feel like I'm doing more work and she feels like she's doing more work. Mm. So then you get mad at each other because you're like, I'm doing all this and you're not doing I right. And then and we both feel that way. That's where couples really butt heads. And it's funny how everyone, I, like I've looked at like research and done some research from, of my own. Most people go through the same crap. Yes. Because uh, yeah. we had this phase right after Griffin was born. We were so crazy. In Cloud life. nine. It was like, we just made our family. We have this little human and he's so freaking cute and he's ours. And it just was like heaven. It was so great. It was like great. infatuation. And like then, yeah. when you guys first and then like a week dating. later, yeah. and then a week later, boom, like dropped. Oh. And, and a lot of people go through that. I didn't realize that, but a lot of people have this like heaven phase right you after the baby. You find your footing again. And then I feel like also the thing that did I did not expect is it literally changed my brain. Mm. becoming a mom like mm -hmm. I cannot physically not think about Griffin or like and so it like takes attention away from him yeah because right. it's it he's your everything yeah, yeah. yeah. it's so funny it's, you bring up that fighting though because we had a therapist on our podcast and she goes the number one thing is like don't have a keep, don't keep score yeah and that's I think a lot yeah. of what people do is they're like well I do this and I do that yeah. and it's like well I do this and I do that and it's like you have to work as a team yes. like you're both doing a so lot that becomes so toxic because yeah. then you really do start like going on like you can well last month like you could just start bringing yeah. in and then keeping a tally the yeah that's what we talked about like sometimes like what do they say? Like, you can't always each give 50%. Mm -hmm. Like, sometimes no, someone's be giving 50, 70 50. Yeah. and someone's giving 30 or... Yeah. So then, like, you ask, like, what's your percentage right now? And yeah. I'm like, if I'm pregnant, it's never going above 40. Yeah. Like, it, yeah. that's that's just how it is. I love how we're segueing into all these questions, like, way longer. Okay, so now we have... Have you ever felt not in the mood but did it anyways? Of course. Of course. I feel like me all the time. Yeah. Never. That's always mad. <laughs> yeah. I don't know. Like, definitely. I would... Yeah, definitely. We've... I, I feel like um, it's natural. Someone's always going to be, it, it, you know, each yeah. one's different. But also it's one of those things kind of like going to the gym. Like, you, do you ever really feel like going? And But then like when you do it, you're you like, oh, you're, you're so glad, you glad that you did. That's yeah. Abby. That's, That's actually yeah. at, like a lot of times she'll be like, I don't really feel like it, but let's do it. And then. And then afterwards, you're like, man, I'm so glad so we did glad. it. It's also, yeah. it's a maintenance thing too. Because it is. It's one of those things, like when we're getting testy with each other, I'm we like, know. we got to do it. I'm yeah. like, it's been no, too long. No, seriously. Yeah, yeah. If we're having a bad fight, it's like, wow, we feel way better. Yeah, exactly. So what I think, were we fighting about? Doesn't matter. <laughs> doesn't matter. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It's so important, honestly. And I think a, a ton of people say that, but even when you don't feel like doing it, you should do it. Intimacy is huge in a relationship. Yeah. I don't know why this is even a question, but it says, do you or have you ever done the dirty with just socks on? Yes. I've had socks. Actually, the other day I had socks on while we were doing it. <laughs> just socks? Just socks. Like nothing else. Nothing else. I think else. we read somewhere that it makes it better. Really? Oh, like There's maybe. There's no way. It maybe makes like, you sleep better. I know that. I've oh, heard okay. that. 
But I don't, I don't believe that though. I like to have socks off, and I then want, I like to have my, my foot outside of the cover so I can like equalize you get, my temperature. Yeah, a little bit you know? of the coolness. Yeah. I also, I want the like grip and support of the ground or wherever <laughs> I am located. Whoa! John's giving away a lot. Well, I'm just saying because you could slip and kill yourself with socks on. <laughs> John, he's Ball talking about the game because John therapist. was an occupational therapist and he worked with geriatrics. He would look at everything and be like, fall risk, fall risk, fall you risk. You better have grip socks on. The hospital socks. You worked socks. with geriatrics? Mm -hmm. wow. wow. That takes a special person. I think. Yeah. yeah. That's got to be hard. Skilled nursing facility. I did it for like six Lots years. Lots of but patients. It's, it's definitely draining for sure. Mm. Yeah. Wow. Sad. I can't, I can't ask you these can't questions. Question? I, my voice sounds like a kindergarten Abby, teacher. Ask, this question. <laughs> ask one. Ask this one. You can do it. This is going to make me sad. Just ask it. You can do it. Would you remarry if something happened to me? We talk about this all the time. Go ahead. You first, though. See, um, I, I think like. Not you. You just said, I want to hear. I How do you know? You're looking the other you way. First. Okay. Abby first. Abby you guys first. go first. Yeah. How would you know I was even talking to you? You weren't even looking at you me. You pointed this way and you go, you first. So I'm like, okay, I'll go. I'm so like. Like I said, I'm so loyal. I feel like I cannot even go there. Like, I can't even think of that. That would make me sad, though, if Ab if I were to oh. die in a car accident. That would make me sad if she didn't remarry. Mm. I know it's weird, but it's like, I would be dead. And, and like, for her to just, like, losing I'm her best friend. And cry. it's like, that's like saying, oh, if you lost your best friend, would you never have another best friend? Right. It's like, why would you not have another but best I friend? I can't picture I know. Abby, lock it up. <laughs> lock it up, girl. <laughs> I can't picture it another guy like and with our kids you too. don't have the to kids make another like That's element true. to it like i would but hate to see another would make me so sad if you're all alone <sighs> raising kids on your own that would <laughs> just make like me... digging into her like, scratching at the yeah. she's scratching at the door it's snowing Matt out would remarry i know he would you could not be alone I, I would hope that you would remarry i don't know if i could I, I, i'll be honest i don't think i would live the rest of my six right, years well, i think it also I, depends I, on like when like I, if it's tomorrow no you know no, what I mean? no no but, no like, if you're in like oh, heck i don't no. know that would be devastating mm -hmm. that would be are we terrible people unbelievably i mean I, I i know that i would not i think i like because i look at betty white and i'm like queen her husband had not passed because away. like i don't <laughs> no, like not, yeah not no, because no. i love john no because i truly I feel like john's my soulmate that like we i can't I would never have the same banter. Just how like you mm, feel yeah. about like moving on, but like I just and uh, John, John when he says that he would never remarry, he says it because he's like, Ugh, I would never want to be annoyed with another female again. Well, like, marriage is hard. It's a lot it's of work. Exhausting. <laughs> but like I, I love Alex, but I just I'm I'm also somebody that, like I like being alone too. Oh yeah, so I'd be fine. I hate being alone. Mm. But See, one I, and done for me, I'm good. Like I did it once. Really? Yeah. Well, I I think that like I don't I don't believe in soulmates. I think that you have to just work. For marriage, mm. it's like a muscle. If you're not working out, you're it's you're so true. Not like be I do think that like you can have like several. Like if you like yeah. meet someone else, but I think for me, I just my expectations would be so high in a partner that like maybe, but I don't know. It's like one of those things that I would I hate to think Here's about. Here's the other and thing too is we've about. literally only dated and been with and kissed so each other. True. So it's like <clears throat> I literally cannot even imagine. Right. Like I'm yeah. like that's just no one else could fill that spot. I don't know. Oh, I know. That's I get, I get that. Yeah, Matt would remarry undoubtedly. Like, oh my there's gosh. just no You're way. You look like a complete a hole right now. Like, <laughs> you oh, are you just, honestly you getting a life. Or... Crying, thinking about losing you, just like. Hmm. I okay. I, I don't. I don't know why, but my brain doesn't go to that place of like I'm not gonna ha like really think through how I would feel if you died right now. Like I, I can but you do put that. My brain you in like that immediately really? your brain goes there and you're like in tears. And I'm or like, like if someone well, is, like, is going dead. through something like, that I'm, I'm with, yeah, I'm still right. here. I feel like I'm going through the same thing. You're right. Yeah, you do have very good yeah. empathy. Yeah, you have, like, no, it's really bad strong. because then if someone's like struggling with something, I can't like. Well, think, remove myself and help them because I'm literally just like. Oh. Well, you've been you've been to funer funerals where you cry more, more than, the, than the people that lost than the, the family mm. who lost someone because Abby's it's so, very bad. It's Abby's actually very not good. good at empathy but I mean, that like way. that also could be a superpower. Like you use that. Like you feel yeah. the way. Like you can you can have these deep conversations with people because you feel their pain. Yeah. You know, like you yeah. can connect with people in that way. So like it's not a bad thing. I wear all my emotions. Yeah, hundred percent. You also are very pregnant. <laughs> so that, I like to say true. that this is new with pregnancy, but it's. Really yeah. Kind of not. yeah how many times a week oh it depends on the week honestly because with at like least two. traveling but yeah usually at least two yeah. i think average couples are like two to three a week or something i don't know but that. some people like i mean I, I, everyone's normal is no, I think different it was like statistically, i would be great I, with two to three see, i would be so happy with that that's what's kind of a bummer is like in the early days of marriage i'm i swear you guys like it was literally every day 
There Literally. was not a day that so didn't. much so much fun, and now which is so much fun. totally like <laughs> so much. yeah, obviously like Pregnancy. a lot lots going on. Abby's pregnant. We have a baby. Like uh, there's a lot going on. So yeah, it's probably the same. Probably two times a week. I would say. I like how you guys are like two times. That's it, and we're like killing it. <laughs> I did it. <laughs> As I'm telling you, I'm like that's okay. great. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Great. I guess I just have a high libido. I don't yeah. know. You do it. You're freaking. <laughs> yeah. Crazy. You want what you can't have. You know. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. What's What's the closest you've come to breaking up or divorcing? Wow. Mm. Oh, gosh. Probably just like in our peak year. Like we just had so much going on. It was like so stressful. Yeah. We had like 38 weddings. We had, uh, I was working. Was I? I was Working together is. Working together. Oh, my gosh. Can we talk yeah. about that? Yeah. Beast. Because I mean, like we're together 24 exactly. seven. And it's like you have to have your marriage relationship hat and you have to have your business hat. But they don't. They, they blend yeah. together. You have You're to always talking off, but about you business. Exactly. So it's really hard. You have to create intentional time. But during the year 2021, when we had all the weddings and we're like, and again, when your relationship is is front and center for people to rip it apart like it was a lot of stress on us but i started therapy mm -hmm. and it has i think just like helped me have an outlet to like talk about my problems yeah. but it also like gave me the tools to help communicate with john better because yeah. john he's a great communicator like never really needed i know you like, can't tell for but. and like i've john. been in relationships in the past where <laughs> yeah like he's a really and i was the one who like would you know brush my feelings aside and put it under the rug and just like work yeah. and i would work to mask like what i was feeling and That's like to I mask do. my stress so yeah. i would just like work all the time and like yeah. instead of addressing the issues that we were having and so uh we got to like a breaking point and we were like something's got to change so we took yeah. like a week and a half off socials we took a break from the pod which a week and a half sounds like nothing but like yeah. to us who post like every day yeah. it is yeah and so it was kind of like a reset for well, us it's kind of scary i mean like when especially since we're so used to posting every day it feels like if you take a week and a half off yeah like, you're gonna, even a day you everything feel guilty dies. like why do you feel guilty yeah. like everyone deserves like yeah. a rest day exactly mm -hmm. but we didn't make an announcement or anything like we're taking a break but we just it yeah. was like what we needed and like now instead of feeling the pressure of like this hamster wheel if we do do need to like focus on our relationship we do like we'll step back from socials for a few days and just like mm. you know not worry about work and just focus on each other That's but really good. and like prior you have to prioritize your relationship yeah. hey sorry to interrupt but if you could really quickly give us a five star rating that would be very much appreciated if you're driving don't do it while you're driving just pull over or when you get to your destination safely Give us five stars. And if you're cooking pasta, make sure that the, the pot does not boil over. That would not be a good situation to be in. Also, while we're at it, can you share a podcast? You can share it with your mom, your coworker, your friend. You should share with your grandma, your ex-husband, whoever, lover. you know, that would be really Don't much appreciated. Don't reach out to any exes. Maybe not That's an ex. Awkward. That might be too far, but leave us a review. We'd appreciate it. And hey, smash that like button and subscribe while you're at it too. We Thanks. love you guys. Back to the episode. Back to the episode. Okay, we've got, what's the craziest or most random yeah, place? you've done too many sex questions. You'd want to shag. That's what it says. Wait, want I've never to heard of that. Where shag? shag? I haven't heard what's that. What's shag? Like, forever. you know, shag. I've never heard of shag. I've, I've never heard, heard it, of but it. but it's like. Who says shag? Boomers. How Beatles? They should have done trivia Boomers. for millennials versus oh, Gen Z. Oh my gosh. <laughs> we'll do that on our podcast when That's you guys are guests. I'm us. learning some yeah. new terms, by the way, like giggy. No, that was a made up word. But, wait, but wait, Riz. Have you guys heard of Riz? Riz, yeah. Like Riz is the Riz. new term yeah. that people are using. I, the Gen Zers, even though we're Gen Z, I feel like we're yeah. more. <laughs> we don't really fit Gen Z We don't really Gen fit Z that well. either one. Yeah, I guess you guys are like in between. What are these cryptic words, Because you're very mature for Gen Z. Well, we're also like yeah. the oldest Gen Z. Oh, okay. So okay. we are on the, the cusp yeah, anyway. Cusp. But where is, where and we're you... friends with only millennials. Oh, yeah. right. Yeah. So where's the, like, where's the craziest place that we have shagged, John? In the car? We've never even done it in, in the, the car. car yeah. in the Dude, car. we've never done it in the car. We need to up our game, Abby. That seems Mix like it it's up. a crime. Sad. How sad that I like can't You're think see of. It. I think I is the question where would you want to? Where it, would I guess you? the question is where Oh John, the balcony. At the, on a, on a, a trip. They're not See, asking us where we. Is, where no, I know, no, 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 no. But we did do it on a balcony, and it, we were we were way too many drinks. We're like deep. mortified the next day. Oh my god, like, the oh next day god. I was like, did anyone see us? Like, what were it's we? It's not talking? like we were on a high rise. It was like eye level with other people's <laughs> no. homes. Oh yeah. No. no. Oh my gosh. No. Horrible. I'm impressed you, you guys have taken that? two weeks of drinking off. By the way, that's very impressive. Three. 
Wait, three right. weeks. Wait, three yeah. weeks yeah. of drinking? Catalina Wine Mixer, we went way too hard. We said we need to reset I our know. livers. <laughs> yeah. You guys doing that just as long as you can go? Yeah, I mean, I am. I do like how I feel like not drinking. And so I think just like being older, the older that you get, I'm like, we don't, we haven't really been drinking much like these years, except for like on the weekends or like out at dinner or whatever. But I just don't think it like really serves me anymore. So I mean, I like doing it. I just want to see how long I can go. Alex That's is more good. of a lifestyle change. Mine's more of like, I want to know what it's like because I, I've been drinking since 19, 20, like 19, consistently. 20? Yeah, since college 19, yes. going in. Don is that old. <laughs> I'm that old. I'm that old. But like wow. going on three weeks, I'm like, wow. And I don't really notice a huge difference, to be honest. Like, yeah, but maybe, I think it's a matter of like not feeling like shit, You know what I mean? Like right. not having brain fog. Like, But just not feeling... drinking, I'm now just slamming sweets. No way. I'm eating cookies. I never eat dessert or anything. That's cookies, probably why I do that because I don't drink very much. But I, dude, if Abby makes love 24 dessert. cookies, you better believe I'm eating all 24 cookies yeah. in 24 hours. Oh, it happens every it. time. And I'm like, I'm going to develop type 2 diabetes. <laughs> it's going to happen if I can't control my sweet addiction. Right. Are, do you like to bake? She oh, does. Yeah, I do. Um, it's dangerous. And she won't eat it. She'll just bake and leave all the cookies out that's and they smell of so good. That's control. That's torture. No. I'll have like one as a, like as a dessert. I do don't have one. I I feel like I always I love balance in every area yeah. of my mm. life. Like I love balance with my eating, with my sleeping, with my activity. Good. What's cooking workout? like in your house? Are you the are you the chef? Abby's the chef. Matt doesn't know how to cook anything. You don't know how to cook. I grill. Come on. I he grill, will grill all up, the time. I like prepare the this meat. Is actually a he common, will grill the meat. A I've common meal that we've been having, this is fire. Okay, our friends down in Bella got us onto this. Ooh. We have Lemon. I grill salmon. And Citrus then Abby salmon. makes the sides, and it is so good. But actually, you just... I prepare the salmon, Okay, too. I guess you season I the salmon. I buy it what marinated. Do you season I buy it, it marinated, okay, okay. but yeah. then, which is like, makes it so easy. But then I also put a little extra fresh lemon yeah. and salt. We and then love salmon. It's so good. It's so like fresh. our staple meal. Yeah. Mm. Um, Dill. We both cook, but like when we first started dating or just like when we were first married, I was the main chef of the house. But then nice. like I was like, I can't always do it. So let's yeah. basically I had no skills before Alex besides <laughs> being a therapist. And then she taught me how to cook, how to edit, how to how to shoot with a camera. Like John's very trainable. But no, you. So now I, I cook a lot now, too. But it's all stuff she showed me how to cook. Yeah. yeah. Matt doesn't but cook or do grocery bre- shop. I guess we probably do breakfast evenly. What did she say? I don't really make your breakfast that much. Have you yeah. guys done like the TikTok of like breakfast. what like what you do in the relationship? Like oh, what? that guy got, got us canceled. See, that got did us canceled. Yeah. Why? Uh, because I do a lot of the house stuff because he does a lot of the business stuff. Well, that's how we are. Like I do yeah. a lot of like the business editing behind the yeah. scenes, which takes a lot of time. And John does a lot of the house stuff. But at the same time, you're both contributing to the but house. See, it works. Exactly. You guys don't get canceled because it's the woman working. And the husband doing the house mm. stuff. Mm. And but because you do it the traditional, traditional way, way. It's seen as like me being like Everyone can abused. go F off. Whatever works <laughs> for you <laughs> is what, what, like, are you bothering someone else by living your life and what I works mean, in your family? It like, didn't change how we do things in exactly. our house when people said exactly. anything. So. I would actually also say that our roles are more equally <laughs> spread out before you just do business. Alex does nothing with the finances. Let's just go into it. Oh. Alex can do the creative edit for our videos, but I do everything with the podcast. Because I made you. <laughs> or we would have done the podcast. But it's like our roles are pretty equally. Equal. I don't touch yeah. the finances. Yeah. I don't want to do that. I just got done doing bookkeeping for like three days because oh, I had put it off God. for so long and I want to throw up, dude. Bookkeeping Hire an sucks. Accountant. Well, we do, but then like I have to tell them which expenses match which like it still I know takes time. I have to train them up on like what is what in our yeah, don't you just expenses. give them like your like if you're an American Express don't you just give them every, like you have a business yeah. card and do you guys have a bookkeeper for your yeah, business yeah well he does both he's our accountant and he does okay we have that too but I, yeah. yeah I was doing it just, yeah. I mean it still takes time though like again you like two John, are very similar where I think you guys are just too too hands on where it's like right. that's true let it go a little bit that's have true. a little trust better. with your accountant we or whoever better yeah we do yeah well outsource we're doing our it. best you know yeah no, don't t- don't touch her <laughs> oh sorry we just we just fist bumped jealous john <laughs> john when we fist bumped earlier <laughs> yeah you guys fist bumped earlier <laughs> we get belly bump <laughs> Do you notice imperfections, stretch marks, cellulite? And you the other person? Yeah, and your other person. Do you notice the imperfections? Mm. Um, I mean, no. Like, I just That's think I'm really. so distracted by, like, being literally in love with John yeah. and obsessed with him 
all the time that when he bends over and shows me his booty hole, I'm like, wow, I love it all. I think Abby, I Abby it. makes fun of me because like I let water run through my <laughs> to You're clean like, it's a water ball, Abby. It. Bro, when I'm trying to take a shower, I'm like, yeah, like that's where I like that's where I wipe my butt. Like I gotta Don't clean that. Don't make eye out. contact with me <laughs> as you doing it though you gotta that's get in there and clean it john is <laughs> aggressive john is aggressive you gotta clean it i walked into the bathroom to a shower wait matt are you one of those people that just like lets the shower just run over you and that's how you bathe? abby doesn't like bend over and let the water go through she just like i'm like that's not cleaning your butt like that's yeah, gross you gotta get in, get in there you gotta clean that like booty hole matt 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 what are you implying? I am very clean and hygienic. I'm implying that you're. But when I walk in the bathroom, <laughs> leaned over, spread eagle, spreading. You gotta do. You gotta do. Here's the thing. Here's the thing. Con- it's we the don't have the eye contact for me. I'm like, I don't need that. No, I, don't need I do that. that just to f with you. You're staring but into I, my soul. That's crazy. Okay. Behavior. When I say, I wish we had one of those like little like wands things. You know, <laughs> the remover. Where I'd just be like, I'd be like. Shh, done right but like because we don't have the one i'm like okay i gotta freaking like <laughs> bend over to let it like, go through i don't know what the anatomy difference is but i don't need to do that i think you're just really short and i think there's some like difference <laughs> with you being short uh-huh. and me being tall you know i'm confused you, you have to right bend over to get in your ass yeah <laughs> that's what he does john is okay, also just like short. bring your arm around <laughs> no but like but Why like, are you bending over? To I, rin- exactly. Rinse. That's what I want like, to know. You know, like when you wash your hands, you like wash your hands and then you like rinse it off, like rinse off your hands with water. Like that's why. The rinse. To rinse off. Oh, like once you get in there, like to get it out, the suds. Oh, uh, I see what you're saying. Yeah. I just like splash it up in there. Yeah. Oh. And that does enough for so me. I feel like that's not, I feel like you're missing. No, no. I, I soap it up. Do like you guys it's all have so a um, saying, like, bidet? Water. Maybe we, we can don't. all get a no. bidet sponsor. We had like, uh, I told our builders one. no because they asked. I said absolutely oh. not. I don't trust them. I I I tried I don't my want friends. That sensation. Well, you they didn't a have a, a heat control on it, so John got I don't care cold about the heat water. Control. I thought oh, it was. But that does make a difference when oh, it's like cold yeah. water up your butt. Once again, I was telling a story that she wasn't part of. I was in the I bathroom. I didn't know you were in the bathroom. It was zero to twelve. I turned it to five. Nothing came out. I'm like, this is the first time I ever used it. I'm like, oh. I guess I had to charge, so I put it up to 12. I shot myself right in the asshole <laughs> with it. I was so appalled. I was like, never again. I'm never using this thing again. I'll tell you what, at first it's super uncomfortable. I've only used a bidet, by the way, like three times. It's the first two countries. times were like really, un- I was like, this is weird. Well, does like, it go but- around or is it supposed to go in? I think it just is. It's just like it rinse. It's like a little rinse that a like rinse? all the, like all the particles. It wasn't like a jet, like a zip. No. Bam. See, I think you were on the wrong setting. Yeah, because like on we just were in 100%. Mexico and they we're at this fancy I was on the hotel. Clean the toilet setting. <laughs> <laughs> oh, so they had one in Mexico. Yeah, and I was like, yeah. I was like, I have never felt cleaner. I feel so clean. Really? Mm. Yeah. They say in other countries they use a lot less toilet paper because I mean, it makes sense. Yeah. Like you yeah. should. Like you would never just like if you're washing your hands, you would never just like use a towel. Wipe it off. Right. Like you would exactly use water. So it makes exactly. sense that you a bidet exists. What is an argument we have gotten into that you thought I made a big deal out of? I can think of two times. You know why we don't do pranks to each other? Yeah. Because they go horribly, horribly wrong, mm. and not even like a setup prank. Like for a video, it was <sighs> like I actually did a prank oh, you did. and it backfired on me twice. What, what was it? What was the first prank? time was in Mexico where I, Alex was drunk and I took the the key to the hotel door. Because John likes to say that I lose my stuff all the time, but I never lose it. It's just lost in my purse somewhere. And I'm like, I'm going to find it. So he's like, Alex, you lose everything. So we get to like our hotel door. Wait, are you j- recording this? Yes, on my cell phone. But it wasn't for it wasn't for social media or anything. We even, I just we thought it was funny. At the time. And I wanted to get a reaction, so I took the hotel key. I'm like, where's the key, Alex? And she's looking around. <laughs> she can't stole find it. it from me. So I'm like, I don't know where it is. Like I literally had it in my purse and he goes, Here it is, and whips it out. And I'm like, why would you take it? Kicks like, it why are you my, gaslighting kicks it me? Out of my hand. So he's he's thinks that he's so funny filming it. And I go, I was a dancer growing up, so I went, Haya! And I kicked it out of his I kicked the phone. And she was out of crying and the whole night like, she was like so gaslight mad. Gaslight me into thinking I lost the key. He's like, I was trying to teach you a lesson. And I'm like, exactly, that's cruel. You stole the key from me and then tried to blame it on me and make me feel bad as a lesson for losing something that I didn't lose. You're wrong. Also, real quick, the same. Another time was. How do you remember these? Like four, I can't think of anything. Four weekends ago. Four weekends ago. Four weekends ago. I remember this. I say I can't remember yesterday, but I remember my pranks. 
Yeah. We were at a bar and I was drunk and I was talking to this guy all day. He was a really <laughs> yeah, cool guy. We're taking a break from <laughs> drinking. Yeah, exactly. really and drinking. I told this guy, you know, it'd be funny if you went up to my wife and told her I was being a huge asshole to you. And so that prank happens. Alex gets, I don't even remember the rest of the thing. But So this guy comes up to me when we're out. This is not for video. This is just No, again, none of these life. are I just thought it'd be funny. Dude, by the way, Abby does this to me too. I prank okay? him all the time, not John recording it. Matt, like, Why do I have... always relate more to the wife and Abby yeah, relates more yeah, to the husband? Every time. Abby's out here pranking me just to screw with me. Doesn't even care to record it. She's like, this would be funny just yeah, to no. screw with him. No, John, I'm sure you like, took it better thinking, than Alex did though. John was not thinking of this as like a prank to make content. So I I, this guy comes up to me, he goes, hey, your husband, He's like, love your content. He was just a huge d to me. <laughs> and I was like, oh, John is out here ruining uh, like, ruining our relationships with like our audience. Are you kidding me? Like, we need to be nice to people. Like, I, and he's out here just being rude. I'm like, he's just probably in a bad mood. I need to find him. We need to lock this up. So I find John and I'm like, some guy just came up to me and told me that you were being mean to him, John. And John's like, I don't know what you're talking about just like losing his mind on I me i forgot i f i completely forgot, <laughs> you forgot you that you said he forgot that he told this guy to say it and he goes you're just How blaming me you, you just believe this guy you just like are taking it you just believe this I guy was all in. You I was like, you, you're not even gonna take my side you're just automatically gonna said, believe someone else why would stranger just come up to me and tell me that john and then i go and then it wasn't until the next day when we're talking about it, i said john we need to talk like you can't be rude to other people and then you just remembered public. and no, then I no didn't it wasn't until day. i go and then john's like well what did he even look like i go he was in a cowboy hat and john goes uh and then that's when you remembered. And you were like, oh, I was actually but I was like friends hung with over that guy. The next day I was like, oh my God, I'm a terrible person. Like, I don't know what I said to this person. <laughs> and then he was like, oh yeah, wait, that guy in a cowboy hat, we were talking for a while and I told him to tell you that. Okay. That's the funniest thing I've ever heard. That's so yeah, so I funny. literally thing, cannot even imagine that scenario. I was like, what? if someone were to come just because the way you are, if someone That's were to come, nice. up, like, please wait. I'd be it. like, no, but like, if someone came up and was like, your wife was a huge B to me, like, what would what, you think? I would, would you... know that it's, it's not true. Yeah, I, I, I just have not. I wow. believe it. Not me. What a team you two are. <laughs> you are what a team. Well, also, we never really drink, so yeah. I feel like that so yeah. adds an element where it's like it's not really yourself. Mm -hmm. So yeah. it's like, yeah, that, we don't really have that, right? Because mm -hmm. I'm like, oh, John acting like a. Sounds like him. <laughs> <laughs> that, oh that my god! And like that's him. why we're not drinking right now. <laughs> uh, well, that was an argument. That well, was everyone place their guesses for how long they think Alex and John can make it without drinking. Yeah, I know. They're, going, I know. they're going on three weeks right now. Yeah, very, yeah. very proud of you guys. Thank you. Thank, thank you. you so much. Yes. yes. <laughs> oh my goodness! It's been so fun to have you guys on the podcast. We'll have Thanks to we'll have have another episode. I haven't I laughed this hard on a podcast episode oh, since. In how long? Honored. I don't know. I, I've been laughing so hard. This is why we're but, all sweating now. Yeah. yeah. But again, you guys, you guys can check out uh, Alex and John's podcast. Give it to me straight. Yes. It's on all pod podcast platforms. Um, check it out. Leave them a review. And while you're at it, leave us a review. We really appreciate your reviews. And we're going to actually read one of your reviews right now because that's what we what we do at the end of our episodes. That's what we do. Amazing. I love watching your YouTube channel. And when I found out you were starting a podcast, I was aesthetic. Ecstatic. 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 I think they spelled it wrong. <laughs> Love the podcast. Thank you so much. We really appreciate you guys. I wish there was an Instagram handle to shout that person out, but we love you guys. Uh, if you haven't already left a review, we'd really appreciate it. And uh, we'll see you on the next episode. Thank you again to Alex and yeah, John. Thank you for thank having you us. us. Thank you guys. Yay. And as always, this is where we say peace out, dudes. All right, ready? Cool. Three, okay. two, one. Peace, peace out, dudes. dudes.